What's up, YouTube? It's Yardi Ando that talks to react to another video. We got what does it actually feel like to be shot? Like, comment, subscribe, follow the links in the description, and let's get into it. You hear the echo of a gunshot. People all around you begin to scream in panic. You ain't no screaming, haul ass, and I'm straight motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the fuck up out of the run and dive for cover. Excuse As you breathe heavily trying to get your bearings, you look down. You've been hit. A pool of blood begins to soak through your shirt. How does getting shot feel? Let's find out. We've all seen someone get shot. Ain't no screaming. You gotta pass out. Yeah, the movies or blood. television shows, but do these depictions have it right? According to the CDC, in 2017, around 40,000 people died from gun-related deaths in the United States alone. However, many people also survive being shot, and when they tell their story and what it feels like, there are several commonalities. That being said, everyone is different. Some people have really high tolerances for pain, while others not so much. The sensations felt from being shot are most Dang. certainly connected to the location of the bullet wound, the size of the bullet, and the person themselves. But let's look at different accounts and see what most have in common. Many gunshot survivors remember the initial penetration of the bullet. The strange thing is, they don't remember feeling any pain at first. The Could it be fast? It's a fast bullet. It's a truck hitting you, but it's a small truck. And your adrenaline, you're not, you're not noticing. You ain't gonna notice it till you look at them. This is surprising, since you think a searing hot chunk of metal ripping through your skin, muscle, and nerves would be excruciating. However, for the most part, survivors of gun wounds tend not to notice they've been shot until they see blood. One gunshot survivor remembers the impact of the bullet feeling like someone had thrown a small pebble at her. The bullet hit her in the side, and all she remembers was being in shock, but not feeling any initial pain. This may be surprising at first, but this is not uncommon with people who have been shot. Many people recount that within the first few moments, moments of being hit by a bullet, they didn't feel anything at all. Once the brain realizes that the body's been injured and it could be life-threatening, it goes into survival mode. The brain dumps adrenaline into the bloodstream, which causes the body to increase blood pressure and heart rate, expand air passages to the lungs, and maximize energy output. This allows the body to reach superhuman levels and maintain homeostasis even under intense circumstances. The body obviously can't keep this heightened energy level up forever, but it does allow the body to continue functioning even if it's been mortally wounded. The lack of pain Damn. is also connected to the size of the bullet. Larger bullets create larger holes and tend to inflict more pain. However, you'd think a smaller caliber should still cause severe pain, but the body's able to do amazing things. Yeah, like a tutu, you might survive that bit. Nah, depending. if a tutu hits you in the head from a long distance, you gonna, you, it might bounce off. But did you close rain, that bitch will get jumping in your body like a damn basketball player. Under life or death circumstances, a smaller way. bullet such as a 9mm that doesn't break apart on entry will cause a lot less pain than a large bullet that tears apart into shrapnel. Bullets that break apart within the body can rip through surrounding tissue and muscle around the initial entry point. This causes widespread damage and pain in the affected area. The more damage caused, the more pain signals will be sent to the brain, the more Collapse. excruciating the injury will be. Once the initial shock starts to wear off, the body begins damage control. Many gunshot victims remember feeling a burning sensation. This is pretty universal among survivors. Some people describe the burning sensation as feeling sort of like an intense bee sting. However, the initial burning does not decrease, just intense. God forbid I get shot. I, I ain't know what I do. Boy. God forbid I get shot. Fies. So it feels like being stung by a bee with a never-ending stinger, like a needle just continuously being pushed into your body. The burning sensation seems to start the same. When the bullet penetrates the skin, the person feels an impact, but the burn doesn't start immediately. In fact, many gunshot survivors remember feeling numb. As the bullet enters their body, they can feel pressure, but it doesn't hurt. Then a numbness sweeps across their entire body, radiating from the point that the bullet entered from. As the numbness and shock begin to fade, it's replaced by the burning sensation. Other than feeling like a never-ending bee sting, some people have described the burning sensation as being incredibly hot, like someone was sticking an iron poker that had just come out of a fire into their body. Other gunshot survivors explain that the burning sensation feels like someone is jamming their finger into a raw blister. The burning has also been described as an incredibly intense sunburn that's concentrated on a single point of the body, or like someone is taking a bunch of needles and just sticking them into them, except it's as if each time the needle enters the body, it's just continuously being pushed further and further in, with no end to the sensation. The burning seems to begin at the point of entry, but then radiates outward. This may be a small piece of shrapnel ripping through the nerves, but hey, one thing soldiers, is clear. Man. For most people who have shot, been shot, man. the burning sensation is what is felt after the brain becomes aware that the bullet has entered the body. Again, every person's body is different and therefore will react in different ways to intense trauma like being shot. Soldiers that have been shot have recounted that they've had a very different experience from a bullet ripping through them. Most agree that when the bullet enters the body, there is an initial period of no pain at all, but that doesn't last 
last long. Instead of a slow burning, the bullet wound goes from a slight pressure to excruciating pain. The reason that soldiers may experience a more intense pain is because they most likely have been shot by a higher caliber bullet from a rifle. The ammunition and guns so, used in military warfare are probably not the same weapons that civilians are shot by. Maria 556 five, is seven what? What do you call it? Seven five. Five, five, six, six, seven, six. Seven, six tools, yeah. During senseless acts of gun violence. This is not always true, but it would seem that being shot by an assault rifle versus a pistol with a small caliber bullet would correlate to a more intense pain. One soldier who was shot says the initial shock wore off after a few seconds of a bullet entering his stomach. Then the pain immediately began. He remembers it feeling like being hit by a sledgehammer in the stomach over and over, resulting in the worst incontinence possible. However, with his intense pain, he saw that a warm numbness flowed through the rest of his body, and eventually he blacked out. On the other end of the spectrum, some people who have been shot say there was no pain at all. They didn't feel a burning sensation. They didn't feel like they'd been ripped open. They felt nothing. This could just be based. Well, you got to be one strong one. Yeah. Well, subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. I need some more subscribers, please. On the person, but there were actually a few accounts of people being shot and saying they didn't feel much pain. One man who was shot in the calf by a 22 caliber bullet said it didn't hurt. He chalks this up to the bullet being small. It also probably had to do with where he got shot, as there are no. Yeah, cause if they, they put that that twenty two two with a head up here and got the jumping doing jumping jacks and your shit. Ooh. Been over with. Vital organs in the calf. Being shot in different areas of the body seem to account for different sensations. But what about being shot in the head? You may be surprised to find that surviving a gunshot wound to the head is not as uncommon as you might think. You might also expect that being shot in the head would be excruciating, but this isn't necessarily the case either. One man was accidentally shot in the head by his wife while he slept. Now, accidentally shooting someone in the head seems unlikely, but that is the story the wife stuck to. Either way, while her husband slept, the gun went off and the bullet ripped through his skull. When the man awoke, he didn't even know he been shot. Instead, he complained to his wife of a massive headache. The headache was so bad, the man asked his wife to drive him to the hospital, which she did. According to the victim, it wasn't until the nurse at the hospital informed him that he had been shot in the head that he realized. Yeah, she thought she caught a body. Oh, no, 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 no. She get, she thought she saw a ghost when she walked in there. He walked in that kitchen. He was like, huh, what the? This nigga supposed to be in the bed. Dead. She thought she did her job. She was calling all the, the people with the wheel. And he was like, yeah, we better take any money. No, sir. As to what had happened. At this point, the wife ran out of the hospital to avoid being charged with attempted murder. <laughs> However, this is not the only account of yeah, someone being that. shot in the head and surviving. There she are a few commonalities <laughs> between survivors of gunshot wounds to the head. The first is the intense headache that accompanies needs the bullet penetrating the skull. This is not cool. Why she ain't call a hospital, call an ambulance to come get him and just leave? No, she was, she thought she murdered her. She was calling her side piece. No, pick that nigga up, <laughs> throw him in the lake. Not surprising, as they now have a piece of metal lodged in their brain. The other commonality is a ringing sound. Most people who have been shot in the head and survive say they hear a constant ringing in their ears. Some describe the ringing as a unique sound unlike anything they'd ever heard before. It's so intense and loud it drowns out almost all other noise. Other survivors describe it as a really loud buzzing, like having bees inside your ears. And yet others describe it like the ringing of a bell in your head. Regardless of the description of the ringing, everyone agrees. Yeah. They're probably from just the gun going off. Cause I know when I first time I shot an AR-15, that that even hurting for my head was ringing for like 20 minutes. That it is incredibly loud and persistent. There also seems to be an initial ping sound from being shot in the head. The ping then starts to intensify into the ringing, which lasts anywhere from hours to days or weeks later. The ringing isn't painful per se; it's just really loud and annoying. Most gunshot survivors say the most painful part of being shot is the recovery process. The initial gunshot wound for many seems to be a burning sensation, but that's nothing compared to what happens if they survive the gunshot. They're rushed to surgery, and depending on where the bullet entered, the operation to remove the bullet and mend the wound wound is excruciating. Many gunshot survivors say that the recovery and rehab process after being shot is much worse than the getting shot itself. One survivor even described how when she was operated on, the doctors couldn't find the bullet initially and they didn't want to go digging around in her body looking for it, so they decided to leave the bullet in. The survivor had to have multiple sur- Yeah, like, what, what's up with that? Like, 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 I get shot and you leave the bullet in. Like, nigga, what? Nigga, it's metal, nigga. They ain't supposed to be here. <laughs> Three's in order to recover from the gunshot, and during one of them, the bullet had actually been pushed close to the surface of the skin. She remembered the bullet was practically poking out of her body myself. until she convinced one of the surgeons to remove it. Many gunshot wounds take months to heal. This means that for a long period of time, survivors are in constant pain from their body healing. And yet, the pain of recovery isn't even the worst part for many gunshot survivors. It's the psychological trauma that haunts them for the rest of their lives that causes the most pain. Most people who are shot end up with PTSD 
PTSD. They're typically sent to counselors and therapists to help them work through the traumatic experience, but this does not always help. Being shot does not mean they're afraid of being around guns or loud noises, but even things that are unrelated to being shot might set off a sense of fear and terror. For many, with the help of medical professionals and counselors, the people I ain't been shot, but I was in like, I drove past the shootout. I was like, oh shit, I can get hit in this motherfucker. PTSD can go away, scared. but for some it doesn't, and they have to live the rest of their lives with the disorder. Getting shot is never pleasant. Whether it's a burning sensation, intense pain, or psychological trauma, it is something that stays with you for the rest of your life. The sensations associated with being shot depend on the person, the type of bullet, and where the bullet enters. Many people who survive being shot never fully recover. Now watch how to actually survive getting shot. But that's the end of the video. Shout out to the Infographics channel. Like, comment, subscribe, follow the links in the description, and all praise to the. I mean, Yardy, I'm out. All praise to the most. I forgot my own jump.